Hi, this is Kimberly. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to review Camille Rose products. So I don't know if you guys can see these here, but I just got them and I love them. And since I have relaxed hair, I just wanted to come and give you guys my two cents about what I think about these new products. Keep watching. So if you look at my past videos, you probably definitely see that I have a lot of Shea Moisture products. And now that I've finished them all, and I'm not purchasing more. I was definitely looking for some new hair products. So after searching the internet and trying to find a brand that was black owned but also had like great quality products. Um, one of the many, many brands that I found out about was Camille Rose. So I went to the beauty store. I looked more into it. And the two products that I ended up getting were the Algae Renew deep conditioner because I usually try to get a deep conditioner and then some kind of cleanser so I could like try both together and then the other one was the sweet ginger rinse so basically I had a really good experience with them but I'm, I am going to go through the pros and the cons just so that way you can understand fully um, why I like the product so much Okay, so I want to start off with the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. I just butched that name. Let me kind of show you guys the bottle. Sorry, my ring light is so bright. It's going to be hard for you to read it. But this is just in general um, what it looks like. So um, the reason why I was, like I said, looking for new products... It was really important that I had something that was actually going to cleanse my hair. If you look at my previous video, Weaves versus U Part Wigs, I did have a style where it was gelled up into a bun in the half front and a braid in the back. So I really needed a cleanser that was going to not only get out the gel, but then clean my hair, all the build up. I had left it like that for three weeks, so I really wanted a good cleanser. So um, I, instead of getting the cleansing conditioner, which I am going to get go back and purchase the Camille Rose Cleansing Conditioner, I opted for the Cleansing Rinse first. So it says Sweet Ginger um, Castor Oil and Anise Aniseed. I guess we'll go with it. But the reason why the reason I really chose this one is because it says all curl types and textures. So even though I don't really have curly hair because my hair is relaxed so it's straight, um, it does still have that thick texture and... Um, I needed something that was going to really get in there and clean everything up. It does have a light ginger smell, so that might be an issue for people who have a problem with fragrances, but I think that you can um, take it and use it. It's still going to be an excellent hair product. Um, if you wash your hair in the shower, I find that dissipates the perfume more, so then it shouldn't really be a problem. But um, this is really great. It's sulfate-free. I was able to get all the gel out my hair and clean my hair. It took me three washes to um, get everything out, which I think is excellent. I mean, I had a lot of gel in my hair. I don't think you guys understand. Not only the gel from when it was initially styled, but every day after I worked out the next morning, I'd have to put more gel to keep it like in place. So um, this is a really, really good cleanser. So you don't have to worry like, well, it says cleansing rinse. So will it really clean my hair? No, it's going to actually uh, really clean your hair very thoroughly. And it didn't strip my hair, but I did notice that it was like a squeaky kind of clean, which is not really my preference. So that would be one of the cons. I would say that it got my hair a little too clean, but I also did three washes. So I'm going to try it again with two, and I think that might be able to remedy the situation. Um, after I washed my hair, it was soft, it was easy to detangle, and... Um, it was really great. Like, I definitely had a wonderful um, experience with this. I didn't have any allergic reactions, any breakouts. Um, my hair was clean, like I said. Uh, the only con I would have for this product is, I don't know if you guys can, well, you can't see the price, but this was $11.99. Now, granted, it's for 12 ounces of product, so usually for the Shea Moisture cleansing conditioners, you end up paying... $10 for 8 ounces, so this is um, a lot more products for just a little more money. But um, I would say the con is the price, but if you want excellent products, sometimes you got to just bite the bullet and pay what it costs. But um, this is definitely a great cleanser, and I think it did a wonderful job cleaning my hair. Okay, so the next Camille Rose Naturals product that I got was the Algae Renew Deep Conditioner with Cocoa and Mango Butter. This product also said it was for all hair types, so that's why I went and grabbed it. Because even though, like I said, my hair is relaxed, so it's straight, but um, 
it's thick so I definitely need products that are maybe geared more towards texture type hair compared to traditional hair products for normal hair um this stuff smells so good if you have a problem with that cocoa butter kind of chocolatey-esque smell then this might be a problem for you but besides that this smells amazing and more importantly it leaves your hair tremendously soft now my hair was already soft once i finished with the cleansing rinse the sweet ginger cleansing rinse my hair was soft but after i washed out this deep conditioner my hair was like butter like usually what happens is the ends of my hair since that's the oldest hair are usually a little more dry a little more rough have a little more texture to them after the conditioner my hair was all uniform it was all moisturized none of it felt dry none of it fe felt brittle um i do let my hair air dry and then i blow dry it so um once it air dries you can really see whether or not it's moisturized because it'll look like a frizzy dry haystack if it isn't moisturized and it looks absolutely nothing like that my hair was straight and smooth from root to tip and it was just amazing um, my hair felt soft. I kept constantly running my fingers through my hair, of course, before I got it braided up to put my wig right back on. But, um, my hair felt so smooth and soft, and it was just amazing. And I was like, yes, this is what I was looking for. For a long time, ever since I finished with uh, Shea Moisture, I was like, I'm looking for a deep conditioner that's going to really leave my hair moisturized when I'm done. Because there's nothing worse than deep conditioning your hair, and then, okay, I need another product because the deep conditioner doesn't make my hair soft. No. This is one or done deep conditioner. Just put it in. Um, I put, I use more than whatever is I'm directed, I'm sure. I definitely put like, I would say like a teaspoon. No, I put a tablespoon in my hand, rub it together and made sure that I worked it through all my hair, um, starting from the roots all the way and paying extra attention to the ends. Cause like I said, being that they're relaxed and they're older, they have the most damage. So um, this is definitely phenomenal products. I'm so glad I found them. Um, of course, after going to their website and doing more research, once I bought it, I saw they were on The Real. Um, they're founded by someone who takes a lot of pride in using natural um, ingredients and really focusing on hair care. So I love that about the brand. So I think that Camille Rose is going to like be my new thing, Camille Rose Naturals. I feel like this is it. It's a great fit. Again, only con the price. You're not gonna, it's not gonna focus. But the deep conditioner was $20. Yes, 200, the dollar sign in front of the two, $20. But then again, if you want great hair, you have to invest. Um, you wear your hair every day. It's something that just needs to be taken care of. And you don't wanna just get the cheapest thing and try and work it out because then your hair won't look good. So, um, this deep conditioner is definitely great. It's amazing. I love it. And I definitely think you guys should try it. They have a lot of different hair products. Even though I'm only featuring two today, they have cleansing conditioners. They have curl creams. They have all different kinds of other products, which I'm definitely looking into trying. So, um, as I get more, I will continue to share with you guys. But I definitely just wanted to, um, come in and give you guys my feelings on the sweet ginger cleansing rinse and on the deep conditioner so again i just wanted to give you guys one last look at the product so this is the sweet ginger cleansing rinse that i used to wash my hair like i said it was great for getting out that gelled style um really cleansed my hair sulfate free awesome i love this product and then the Camille Rose Naturals Algae Review Conditioner. So this is another great deep conditioner. So if you have relaxed hair and you might have been kind of wondering um, how these products work, they work great. Um, definitely give them a try. And I'll be looking forward to um, getting more Camille Rose products and sharing with you guys in the future. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.